All right, cousins. As of September 10th, I've officially turned 31. Ah, stop. I can feel the judgment. I can feel it. Come on, calm down. I can feel it. I can feel it. Stop. But on this journey to 31, I've learned a couple things in my 20s and I want to share them with you. Is that okay? Number one is to live in the moment. It's important to find that balance in between getting yourself together for the future and living in the present. But you gotta, you gotta find that balance. Why do you have a five year plan and you ain't had dinner today? You're cooking up the wrong plans. You need to be on the stove cooking something to eat. We can hear your stomach growling. It, it's upsetting everybody. It's, I remember spending years being consumed in my goals and moving through life robotically, just fantasizing about the future and ignoring the present. And it's okay to have excitement about what's to come, but you can also feel the joy for what's happening right now. Sometimes we can feel guilty about living in the moment. Oh, if I'm living in the moment, then I'm not preparing for my future. But living in the moment is not connected to complacency. Live in the moment while also preparing for your future. Number two is to take more chances. Of course, you can play it safe at times, but why are you playing it safe all the time? Take some chances. Take piano lessons. If you fail at it, cool. At least you know what a middle C is. Start a business. If you fail at it, you have a first-hand experience on what not to do. Write poems. If you're not good at it, then now you're a local rapper. I hope you enjoy that, you know, but... Take some chances. There were so many things that I wanted to do in my early 20s that I didn't get together until my late 20s because I was worried about what people would say about me, what, how people would feel, what they would think about me chasing these goals or taking these chances. The truth is, everybody's got an opinion about something. And even if you do nothing, they're gonna have an opinion about you doing nothing. So you might as well do what you want. I mean, seriously, treat this world like it is your buffet. Sample everything that you like, as long as it's safe, as long as it's legal. You know what I'm saying? Even if the if the buffet is mediocre, at least try it to see if you like it or not. But don't eat the stuff that the kids have picked over after they picked their nose and, and ain't clean their hands. And it, That may not fit the analogy. It's just something I don't like at buffets. Fill up your cup. I spent years as a recovering people pleaser, overextending for people who wouldn't give me a helping hand if the roles were reversed. I mean, I spent years filling up everyone else's cup where I walked around with an empty keg on my back. It's heavy and it's too much to handle. Literally, it's you know how much a keg is? It's like 20 pounds or something. You can't walk around with that forever. You got to stop walking around doing favors for everybody like you got an extra battery in your back. Whole time you moving like a 1976 Honda Accord. That's the first one to come out. I did my homework for the video. You don't want to move around. It's slow. It's slow. And I'm not saying don't help anyone. I'm saying take some time to take care of yourself. Even if taking care of yourself is canceling plans. Sometimes I cancel. I love to cancel plans. I'll be honest with you. And when they ask why, because I'm doing nothing. Well, if you're doing nothing, why can't? Because that's what I planned. Today, I planned to do nothing. That's my self-care. Balance the hustle. I grew up in the era of why they sleep, I'm making money. Why they eating breakfast, I'm making bands. Why they cooling, I'm making coins. I grew up thinking that every single second of the day, you needed to hustle. And I'm not saying that drive, that determination, that hustle didn't get me to where I needed to go. But I am saying, I could have went to that party. I could have spent more time with family. I could have taken better care of my health. I could have done all of those things and still worked hard. It's important to sacrifice at times. Sacrifice is necessary to get where you need to go, but you need to be wise about the things that you sacrifice. And some things you can't get back. Time is a thing that you can't get back. Balance your time. And last but not least, communicate better. I was the most anti-social person I know. I'm still working on it. But I was terrible. I mean, I was hiding in the grocery store so I wouldn't have to talk to family and friends. Uh, whenever I would go to college and they would say, stand up and say something about yourself, I would start sweating. I would go to the bathroom so they would skip me. I don't know if you guys have all of these things at your church. I don't know if it's just black churches, but at the black church, they had meet and greet. And sometimes in the middle of church service, you get up and you shake hands and you talk to people. I hated it. I hated it. Sometimes the pastor would have you talk to the person beside you. He would say, God is good. Tell your neighbor God is good you would have to physically talk to them and I, I never got it because because you just told them why well, I got to tell them that God is good. you just told me I was good I had to learn how to communicate better I I disguised myself as somebody who just didn't like small talk I know you hear that a lot I just don't like small talk I disguised myself as somebody who was just quiet as somebody who was just a little anti-social the truth is I was a terrible communicator I was a terrible communicator I was anxious, I was depressed, and deep down, as many other people feel and may have not seen in themselves yet, 
I was scared that if I talked to them, people would find out who I really was. So I did. I, I didn't talk much at all. And that may have stopped me from getting to certain places because once I started talking, things started happening. I met some amazing people. I got amazing opportunities. My name was being entered in rooms that I never stepped foot in before. It launched me to places I never would have imagined all because I learned how to communicate. I hope you enjoy your 20s, cousins. I hope you chase your dreams. I hope you learn how to communicate better. I hope you balance that hustle. And I hope you find your way. Enjoy your 20s.